Hello, my name is Hugh and this is the first of very many vlogs to come about my two trips to America this year. So I'm taking two trips. The first one is in August where I will be uh, counselling at a all girls uh, camp and then my second trip to the US will be my trip to Florida with my girlfriend and their family. The first trip is uh, through um, Camp America. So I've done two trips before to the USA, being a general counselor and also as a music specialist. So this first video is gonna be about what to pack. Let's do it. Don't pack too much because when you go out there, you're gonna be wanting to buy things like t-shirts and think, you know, souvenirs and things like that. So you've got to be careful about what you pack. You don't want to brim your backpack suitcase to the top. So you're going to choose also a, um, make a decision between a backpack or a suitcase. I go for backpack, which means I can sling on my back along with that on my shoulder, um, just so that I have my hands free. You know, if you've got a suitcase, you can be dragging it through the airport and then you've got your shoulder bag on your other shoulder and you've only got one hand really free. Especially if you want to go traveling afterwards, you know, backpack pretty much hands down. So on to t-shirts. Um, don't, don't worry about taking too many t-shirts because you're gonna you're gonna probably wanna buy some when you get there. So I'm taking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's eleven there. I'm gonna half that to about six because I don't need that many. I'm only going for for 14 days. Um, for a whole summer. I'd say about 10. Because you're going to get sweaty in them, you're going to want to change one out every day. You're not going to want to wear the same t-shirt the next day. Plus, when you sweat up in the day, counselling the kids and being with your mates, you're going to get sweaty. So, you going to want to have a shower and wear something new, put a shirt on. I'm a t-shirt guy, so I'm taking t-shirts, I'm going to take these t-shirts, but I'm only going for two and a half weeks. So they always recommend, um, don't wear those ankle socks, you've got to wear long socks, keep them, you know, <laughs> Nearly touching your knees, nearly, you know? Um, and all white, so that if you do get a tick on it, a friend or yourself can see that you've got a tick. Anyway, I'm take, I've am i got bloody 12 pairs here. Um, and I'm only going for 14 days. But I would say take that many, because sometimes the camp facilities might not have, the washing facilities are quite stressed out with all the camps clothes being turned over every day, all the counselors and the kids clothes being turned over every day. And one day I think it went out, so I think I was re-wearing re a pair of socks from the day before, so I definitely uh, take um, more than fewer let, um, socks. Hoodies, I'm taking one, I'm gonna take two hoodies. So take two hoodies, because it fills up space in your backpack, and it's gonna be hot most of the time. You're gonna sling a hoodie on in the evening, and you're only gonna be wearing it for a couple hours, so I wouldn't stress too much. Wear t-shirts to get sweaty in, and then you can keep one hoodie to keep you warm at night. I'm gonna take two pairs Two pairs of shorts. I'm gonna be wearing probably yeah. I'm gonna be wearing shorts. Yeah, wearing shorts in the day. Two pairs of shorts, I think, will be fine for a whole summer camp. But two and a half months out there, four probably. But thin, not thick layer. Thick ones. Thin ones are gonna keep you nice and hairy. Keep your your area nice and cool. What else we got? For jeans. I'm gonna take two pairs of jeans. One pair of spray-on skinny jeans and another pair of ripped blue chilled-out jeans. If you get to go out on a night out from camp, you can wear casual clothes and you want to wear skinny jeans, but it's going to be boiling hot, so just wear shorts. But I'm taking jeans just in case you want to dress up a little bit. <laughs> Probably going to take this on the flight to walk in, and while I'm at camp, running about, and then another pair of vans, another pair of shoes, just to be chilling at the night time. And that is it, don't take more than two. Honestly, you don't need that many pairs of shoes. One pair of shoes will do, but just take two. Flip flops, yes, take a pair of flip flops. Okay, so what gear am I taking? Um, you wanna be taking pictures. I'm gonna take this camera, I'm shooting on my Canon 80D. This little 35 mil, which is an old style film camera. I'm taking lots of rolls of film, eight rolls of film, including the one inside already. Uh, I suggest Kodak Portra 400. Speed and I've also got Kodak uh, Color Gold, I think, and that's 200 speed. You want to take some Fuji Films? It's got my cool stickers on it. Everyone loves a cool sticker. Uh, my Fuji Film Instax Mini 8. This is uh, 50 quid. We're going quite cheap nowadays. Um, yep, taking that. That was awesome. I've had this for like 
seven years, six, seven years now, and it's not failed on me once, and I can like throw it out. Really well made. Toiletries, you want to take a clear plastic bag with like, I've got my bite pen if you get bitten by midges, some shower gel, toothpaste, shampoo, conditioner, and hand sanitizer on the plane. You want to wash your hands up nice and clean, make sure you're nice and sanitized. Travel towel, it's a microfiber towel. Definitely, definitely, definitely need this. That's going to keep you and it's nice and small, compact in your bag, and it's great. You know, it's really small. It's not gonna take too much space. And also an extra, this is a battery. It's like a 20,000 amp, milliamp battery, extra charger to charge your gadgets, phones, things like that. Um, any more stuff I can try and fit into my bag. I won't brim it to the top. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. And um, stay tuned.